Hey guys, it's Dan here with a new video, and today, instead of making something, we're going to be turning this old neon sign into an LED sign that lights up with multiple colors. It runs into the wall, so it's a lot more safe than a transformer that's going to be strapped onto the back of it or something like that, like the original sign was. This used to be from a Kmart, which I'm told, and the people who gave it to me gave it to me a while ago so I could make it light up safely for their house. They have kids. And we're going to make this look really cool. Let's get to the build. So I took the packaging plastic that wraps around this sheet and I placed it over it and I traced some really rough lines. I'm gonna place it on top of this and we're going to go from there. Okay, so what I have here is I have some cutouts so I can get some wires underneath through these slats in the plastic to wrap around each piece of the glass. And then I'm going to affix different pieces of the LED strips on this and it's going to shine forward. <laughs> ah, don't burn yourself, kids. So I extended the sensor out. Let's uh, let's find out if that works. Okay, so I've been thinking a while on how to preserve this so it can be remade into an actual fluorescent tube lamp without doing any permanent damage to it. So I'm going to take this box, I'm going to glue it on the inside here, so that way this lines up with this hole I can have the cord coming through to plug in from the back. This will line up perfectly with the connector over here and I'll be able to take this which is the sensor that you have to see the remote with and I'll be able to fish it over here so it's pointing out the front and it's long enough that I can attach it to the red faceplate without it being a problem. Right now I'm waiting for this to heat up. I'm gonna glue that on right here. And then we're going to go on to the next steps. And since it is two pieces of plastic, I'm gonna put a bead on each side so it doesn't just pull off. All right, so as you can see right here, the glasses sort of held together really loosely with metal wire ties onto these glass rods and that gave me an idea on how to attach the LED strips. When I was first designing this in my head, I was thinking about ideas of how to safely attach to a glass with using 3D prints that would like somehow clip onto the glass and, and then I'd have to figure out a way to glue these strips onto it. Then I saw these and thought, well, I have this poster board stuff and it has holes going through it this way. So why don't I just thread wire through this and twist it to the wire since that's already safe enough for the people who made the assignment in the first place. So we're going to do that. I'm going to weave maybe 
one for each side, one, two, three, four, so probably six or eight wires. It, should, it doesn't have to be that tight. It's already pretty tight in there. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but I have twists on different parts. So I got eight on there, so it's going to hold on. And with this, you can see the sensor right there. Well, let's cord. Hold it around the edge right there. Glued on, and the metal's going to bend out of the way. So we're going to put this together, see if we need to adjust anything, and then secure it all together, and we should be done. All right, so I have the remote over here behind the camera. There it is. That's white, red, green. I'm telling you the colors in case it's hard to tell from the camera. Blue, there's orange, lighter, lighter. Yellow, different shades of blue, fading up to green, green again, blue, lighter, lighter, fading to pink. Here's some of the features. That one's really annoying. This one's cool. You don't see the shutter in the actual thing. Throw on shutter right there. You don't see it. I prefer white and red because it shows really well because it's red sign. The green is pretty interesting too in real life. The blue is cool because it makes it almost look black instead of red. So it's like almost looks like a white light with the black, and then you go to white and you're like, oh, it's red. It's almost like you're turning off the red, but you have the white stay on the most. Sort of some work for green too. But for red, it's all illuminated. Yep. So I'm going to try to record some settings to get the green to look better in the blue. Red, green, blue, white, red, orange, fading down to yellow, green, fading down. Blue, blue, fading down to pink. Oh, that's purple. Has rolling shutter. Cool. Nice. So white, blue, green. All right, so one interesting fact about these LED strips is usually when I would try to find them, I would go to Home Depot or a big box store like Walmart, someplace like that, and I'd see that they're fairly expensive, uh, especially ones that are waterproof and light up with different colors, like they come with a remote, they'll be able to change the colors. They go up to prices close to 100 or 50 or even $30, somewhere around there. But I found a website that someone recommended on their YouTube link, and it's, uh, well, I mean, I'm going to have the link right here. This place, I bought these for shipped from China, less than $10 for all this. And I even have some that are, should be coming in soon that are just white ones that are $2 shipped. So <laughs> I'm going to be using that place for buying my ODs from here on out. And it is an affiliate link I have down there, so if you click on the link, it will take you to a place where you can buy the same LEDs and you can get a really good discount. And since it's an affiliate link, it's going to get me a little bit of a uh, little bit of money. So that way we both win, win, win. Yeah. So this is the sign. This is it. It works really well. The colors all work. Thanks again for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, please give a like and leave a comment below about what you want to see me do or make or anything else like that because I make stuff with wood, foam, plastic, 3D printing. You can see some of my videos over here. I make other stuff in those videos. So if you subscribe, that would really help out and we'll see you next time.